This kind of woman I never see. Shabby, you never see this one before. Or maybe not the first time where you meet her type. Uh -huh. She go like pray before she conjugate to you. And she go like make you do I'm in mean the spirit. So the Lord is calling us today. Oh, brother, this is true. Mm -hmm. Don't you like it? It's fine. You must subscribe to us. Stay in our honeymoon. Or a day we get married in the hotel because of the kind of demons that are around. Ah, I understand. It's just for the honeymoon. All right? Please, come. Let me take this off so you feel more comfortable. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. It's sorry. okay. <laughs> mm. 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 You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Why are you doing like that? We am trying to... To do what? Hey, what is it now? We are married. We are supposed to consummate our marriage. Before the Lord! Bro! Bro! Before the Lord in prayers! and fasting, and supplications. Let us pray. You're removing off my scalp. Let us pray, let us pray, please. Let's kneel before the Lord and pray. Please. Bro. Even this bed that you want us to lie on now, we don't know how many fornicators, adulterers, I've laid down on this bed. I've laid down on this bed, held yourself, and they have come. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father, my Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, bless your name for the gift of this marriage. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Now the marriage has come to fulfillment. Now next is the children. You said the gift of the fruit of the womb. Oh, it's a gift. You said children shall surround our temple. Oh, we bless your name, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Oh, you said blessed is ye. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let's just open our mouth wide and pray. Let's bless the Lord for this day. Let's bless the Lord for his gift of life. Let's bless the Lord for the children that are coming. Let's honor the Lord with our substances. Let's bless him, bro. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We give you all praise. We give you all honor. We give you adoration. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. The Bible says that children are heritage of the Lord and the gift of the fruit of the womb is his reward. Let's bless the Lord as we cry upon the Lord. Cry upon the Lord to give us children. We cry upon the Lord to give us peace, bro. Let us pray. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We give you all honor. Oh, you are worthy of our praise. We are worthy of our worship. Oh, we give you praise. We give you worship, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Bro. 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 Hmm? Cannot be sleeping. We have to pray before the Lord. Because we made our marriage before the Lord God Almighty. The God of the heaven and the earth, bro. Let us pray. Amen. <laughs>
Let us pray, because the Lord is here. The Lord is worthy of our praise. Let us open our mouth and worship Him. Let us open our mouth and praise Him. Oh, the Bible says, if we don't open our mouth and praise Him, we will raise the stones to praise Him. Oh, bro, let's do this. Let's worship the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's thank the Lord. Let's worship Him for the successful marriage. Let's bless His name for meeting the children. Let's thank Him for the children that are coming. Let's Amen. thank Him for the gift of the Spirit. Oh, let's thank Him for His provision in our life. Lord! Take my nice control. Father, speak to bro. Lord, touch bro. Lord, touch bro. The spirit of backsliding will not come towards you. In the name of Jesus. Let the Lord stand by me. And she go like make you do a little sleep. Today na for night vigil. Tomorrow na Bible study. Next tomorrow na meditation. The next day na speaking in tongues. So. Dokas, dokas, dokas is the spiritual woman. Dokas, dokas, Prophet Esther, dokas is the powerful woman. Dokas, dokas, dokas. She the she the mm. rest from God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. She don't want anything to be by her back. Bro. Bro. Bro, Andy. Mm -hmm. This picture is not in prayers. It's in the morning already. Mm -hmm. oh. okay. I, I slept in all this. Yes. I was kneeling down. We were kneeling down. We were praying. The plans to consummate the marriage after prayers, and you slept off till this morning. I had to help you, beg God, to have mercy. Have mercy upon you. I'm really sorry about that. I was really tired. <sighs> Bro, hmm? hey boy. I want to go have my bath and have a change of clothes. No, 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 no. You cannot just wake up and stand up in the presence of the Lord. You have to talk to your maker, the master of the universe, the creator of the heavens and the earth. You want to really to sleep, oh. wake up, and tell him thank you. The Lord didn't show me this. The Lord didn't show me this. Okay? Let's pray. Praise the Lord, oh single, single. Praise, praise the Lord, oh single, single. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise His holy name, praise the Lord, 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 oh sing, oh sing, oh, oh, who is there? Praise the Lord, okay. oh Mama, sing, I'm oh sing, oh praise the Bro, you cannot stand up from the presence of the Lord and walk to the manager. No, that's the manager of the hotel. We need to find out why he wants to see us. No, because he cannot protect us. We are talking to the creator of the universe. The protector of them all. We cannot, we cannot only... Oh, Andy. Bro! 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 Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, please, sorry for disturbing your peace. Um, the other customers are complaining of the noise coming out from your room. They are complaining of prayer. Prayer is never enough. Good morning, manager. Oh, please, ma'am, please, help us to bring down your tune. I think it's disturbing other customers. Um, manager, I'm really sorry, okay? I promise you it won't happen again. All right? Kita. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Bro? I'm looking to you. Uh -uh. Huh? Just this small temptation and you have denied the Lord? You are apologizing for praying? You say because it's a public place? Is the Lord not in the sky? Did the Lord hide the sky? Is the sky not made public for man to see? Listen, it's only proper that you apologize when people start complaining about what you did. 
That's exactly what I just did. Moreover, nobody's stopping you from having your spiritual exercise. But when it starts inconveniencing others, it becomes nuisance. Bro! You just called me a nuisance? I mean the act. That means I have acted like a nuisance. Ah! Ah! For praying? Oh! I thought you are a brother of the Lord. That was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Lord didn't show me this. The Lord didn't tell me that you are not a born again Christian. The Lord didn't say that. Bro. But the Lord didn't reveal that you are like this to me. Since the spiritual world, Where are you going? I don't understand. I want to take a, a bath with my wife. With me and you? Yes. Will you get inside here? Yes. Let me tell you, if you do it inside this place, it's always full. Come on, after. I'll come back after. <laughs> we can go back together. That's his kind of mind thinking. Why are you doing this? Oh, bro, bro, they don't expect us to know better, bro. You go with me, sir, here? You did this with me, bro. You come on, bath, I'll bath after. Are you wait for me to finish bathing? Oh, bro, bro, they don't think tell me this about you. We bath together here, we'll be naked. Bro. Oh. Lock the main door. Don't change his mind. Change his mind. I remove the spirit of Kana. Kana spirit. Spirit of Kana. Oh, the spirit of Kana. Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ. I doing? I don't understand. What do you mean by what am I doing? Can you not say that I am studying the word of God? Can you not join me and study the word of God? Hey, we are here for our honeymoon, not for crusade. I should drop the word of God and follow you in this carnalness. Huh? Yeah, rub my hand and do your mouth. Why now? We use our honeymoon that we came here now to pray and cry upon the Lord to answer us in this marriage, give us children, prosperity, give us peace. Is it bad? That's how you came to meet me in the bathroom. You are wearing only short nika. Yeah, do you mind? Like can I mind that you want to barefoot me? How can you barefoot me, bro? <sighs> you know what? What? Just pack your things and let's go home. Alright, we are here for honeymoon, not for crusade. And I don't have money to waste for your crusade. Eh, let's go to the house. Let's go to the house where I'll be free to pray in the spirit. Where I'll be free to cry upon the Lord my God and He will answer me. It's not this place that everybody's complaining. Everybody here has problems. Especially you, you two, you want to be bathing with me in the bathroom. Bro? Bro? <laughs> but guy. You shouldn't have ended the honeymoon like that. <laughs> for crying out loud, this was a period for you guys to get acquainted, get to know each other more better. That was a very frustrating moon. Everything about it was very frustrating. I told you that that girl is just a prayer addict. Nothing else. Seriously? <laughs> Could you believe that? We got to the hotel room. The next thing she started praying. Could you believe that I went to bed? I slept with my clothes on, including my shoes. Then in the morning, she woke me up with morning devotion. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this is funny. Let me get this straight. Upon the prayer, you left her and slept? <laughs> it was so bad that 
the hotel manager had to come to her room to complain about the noise that was coming out from it. I couldn't just bear the whole thing. It was really embarrassing. Man, I just had to take my things and go home. <laughs> I don't pay for crusade now. Huh. This is serious, though. Ah. <laughs> well, it's actually good to pray. One gets it wrong. It's actually good to pray. You know, newly wedded, you hand over the marriage to God. You know, this will create a good avenue for you to decide the destiny of your marriage, you know, your children, you know, lay a good foundation for the marriage, you know. But I understand, I understand what you're trying to say. Just calm down. It's a gradual process. With time, you guys will get to know each other more better, okay? <laughs> Newly wedded! <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations once again, man. <laughs> Come on, drink on. <laughs> Penny! Hey! Good afternoon. Oh, my daughter. How are you, dear? I'm fine, I'm fine. You're welcome. Thank you. Just go. <laughs> Thank you, my daughter. <laughs> Oh, thank Lord. God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. My daughter. Lord. Ah, you're looking so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> bless God. Bless God for that. Hello, bless, bless God. God. Yes, for all the time. Yeah. Um, how are you? The family. And the church. Your daughter. Everyone is fine. Bless God. By the way, where is your husband? He went out. Oh, okay. 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 My daughter, don't worry. I'm fine. So, how is marriage life? I hope you two are getting used to each other by now. You got this faithful. Bless God. We really bless God. Hey, permit me to see, ma. It has been very difficult living with your son. Ah, yes, ma. Yes. What do you mean? Is there a problem? No, me. He's very carnal. Carnal? He gets moved by the things of the flesh, the things of the world. Ah, he has forgotten that we are. In this world, but we are not a part of the world. God forbid. Yes, my own son? Yes, ma. Ah. He's kind of. He's kind of. If I did not know you. Have mercy. I would have said, perhaps he's not your son. Or perhaps he's not born again. Or filled with the Holy Spirit. If I did not know you. My daughter. Yes, ma. Thank you for telling me all this. I will be praying for him. You have to. And please, pray for him too. I pray. I pray. Even when he's sleeping. Snoring and itching. I pray for him, for the Holy Spirit to bring him back, for the Holy Spirit to touch him. I pray, I pray. Don't worry, ma. God, God will bring him. He does not act like a child that was born in the church. I am finished. He hates prayer. The minute you say prayer, his face lights up. His eyes dims, like that of the Pharisees that crucified our Lord Jesus Christ. Prayer, huh? Someone that was born and brought. Does not behave like one who was born and brought up in the church. Besides, being born and brought up in the church is different from being born again and filled with the Holy Spirit. I can see. I said that I bind you. Amen. Amen. I bind you in Amen. the name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Lord, will take control. My daughter, don't, don't take control. Yes. God is in charge, my daughter. He's in charge. My child. But be happy. I know. It is well. Yeah. Yes, ma. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes. Pray now. I am. God is faithful. God will yes. surely intervene. Yes, I say I'm going to drag him to church. Of course. Yes. It's your duty. This guy Doctor, you. I never see for me. Yes. You never see this Everything you can do for me, do it, Lord. I won't leave me through again. I won't ask for small things again. Just do for me everything. You can do. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Please be seated. Number four. Get God to visit you regularly. It's your character. Let him visit you regularly. Hey, hey, 
This your character is going to drive the Holy Spirit away from this house finally. Eh? Baby, how? At the point when we are listening to the message, Pastor has not prayed. Yeah, mm, 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 mm. You are already coming with your mouth. Baby, wait, just let the program be. We need to have our time. No, no, we don't need our okay? time. Okay? Stop this thing you're doing now. My waist is really heavy. No, hmm? not really. Please, let's do it. The Lord will release your waist in Jesus' name. <laughs> the Lord will release your waist. Pastor has not finished praying. But we cannot be doing it. You want me, you want me, you want me, the palo? Yeah? Um, baby, we can't do it anywhere now. We can't do it anywhere. Did you do my, my, do it anywhere? my waist is getting heavy. Come now, we cannot do it anywhere. Baby, it doesn't matter. You're my wife. I can we can actually do it anywhere we want. It matters. It has to be in the night. You lock all the windows and all the door off the light. It will be dark where no man can see. Okay, you know what? Let's just go to the room. Let's just go to, even, even if it's the head. No, it is still the time. We cannot do anything. The Holy Spirit is here. The Lord I cannot watch us doing such things. Maybe we'll cover everywhere now. It will look dark. Let's go. No, 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 no. Stop this thing. What? Pastor, what? Pastor. I will shout, I will shout, I will shout. I don't want to shout. Don't shout. Lord, we release your waist in Jesus' name. Please just listen to the message. No, bro. The Lord did not tell me this about you. If it's... The Lord did not tell me that. Like, like this now, something small the Lord like this. Did not tell me that. Once he I'll bring it. The Lord did not tell me that you are carnal. This is not fair. This is not fair. Bro, Lord, huh? but you did not tell me that. The Lord did not tell me that. The pastor pray. He did not. He did not. Lord, do me this guy. I must pray, pray, Father, heal the sick, save souls, save captives free. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We were kept at the very first auditorium near the expressway. We were very few at that time. We put all of us together, brand new will be. She don't want anything to defile her body. Hello. Hey. Andy. Wow. She do the like do spiritual thing. Yeah, yeah. She do the like do kind of Andy. How you doing? I'm good. And you? I'm all right. I'm doing great. It's been a while. A long while indeed. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you got married. Yes. Wow. I did. <laughs> That's good. At least you finally did settle down. I found a decent girl to marry. <laughs> That's good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Do what about you? What are you doing in this neighborhood? <laughs> um, I came to see my cousin. Oh, I see. Anyways, I stay in the next two streets. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> um, how about we meet up someday? Is that okay with you? That's good. It's cool. Yeah. No problems. I'll call you. I still have your number. You. Andy. <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. Take care of yourself. Uh, you to be good, okay? Uh, yeah, you too. I'll call you. <laughs> Again. Yeah, when I always doing things that making me ask you, ask you why, what are what you are doing. You're always pressing me, my body's not paining me, you're always pressing me. Babe, we've been married for three weeks now. Yet I don't know what your pants looks like. So 
wasn't what I bargained for. But I just... There's no enough reason why you'd be angry or you'd be shouting now. It's what my pant looks like. It's black and white and it has blue too. See it? The size is large. Babe. Hmm? It's what my pant looks like. This one is wet because I washed it. I want to make love to my wife. <laughs> Alright? That was what I meant. I cannot do it now because I'm fasting and I'm waiting on the Lord. If you do it now, you'll desecrate this place. I don't understand. Desecrate the room, how? Do you please stand and watch me and you're doing it? You will leave. Do you please cannot watch that kind of thing? You will leave. It's, it's, it's the pants. You want to hold it. See, I've not seen it. Sit here. I don't want you to stay at home and not pray and say your wife has gone for revival. So you don't have to pray. You now sleep, eat, snow. Be praying your own too. Hmm? Dockers. Hmm? Are you going for the women's convention? Yes. Are you a woman? What kind of question is that? No, tell me, what makes you a woman? Why are you asking me this? Dockers, you're still a girl. And I feel it's better you tell them to send you back to the singles class so that they can teach you what being a woman is about. Okay? It's not just about getting married or bearing the title of Mrs. Somebody said it though. I'll be praying for you. I'm sure it's mommy. Thank you, my daughter. So I'm ready. Mm. I'm ready. I can see. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Hi. How is everything, ma'am? Oh, we bless God. Bless God. How are you? Very fine. Mm. Very fine. To be here. So, are we set to go? Yes, we're set. Mm. set. Okay. We're set to go. Just All right. Get a few of my things from there. Good morning, mom. Good morning, dear. How are you? I'm all right. I'm doing great. How is that? I'm doing well. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, dear. Um, Dockers. Bro? Look at my mom. Now look at yourself. That's a 60 year old woman looking very presentable and beautiful than you. Look at the way you're looking like, like an ancient grandmother. My dressing is okay. This is how a Christian wife and mother who is filled in the Holy Spirit is supposed to dress. <laughs> Andy, what is the matter with you? Why are you talking down on your wife? Um, Mom, the truth is, I am getting tired of this marriage. You had better talk to her. He does not even have faith in the marriage. Talk to her about what? What has she done? This time I started complaining since I dressed up to go for this program. And the Holy Spirit ministered to me and said, this is the device of the devil to delay you from going for this program. Are you stupid for making such statements? Ah! Ah! Andy! The Lord did not show me this. <laughs> ah, the Lord the devil did not show is me a liar! This. Bro, Andy! Bro! The devil is a liar! 
This kind of woman, I never see it. She be, you never see this one before. Or maybe not the first time where you meet her type. Ah, uh, she go like pray before she conjugate to you. And she go like make you do, I mean, the spirit. Yo. Today, not for night, we do you. <laughs> What is funny? I am telling you something serious and you're laughing. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, sorry, Adi. I'm so <laughs> okay, I'm sorry for laughing about this, okay? Uh, uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, you see, I think you should just calm down. Explain things to your mother so she can remedy the situation. Guy, it's too early for you to get frustrated in this marriage. I am already getting frustrated. I am getting tired of this whole thing. Just like that. But guy, you knew that this lady was a prophetess before you went for her. So why did I know she was going to frustrate me like this? Andy, you're already in it. So just find a way to make things work out between the both of you. How do I do that? That's a good question. Listen to me. Meet her halfway. Get involved in the spiritual exercise. With that, you can attract her close to you. Um, did you miss the part where I said that she practically slays in the spirit? Like everything about her is all about spirituality. I mean, I have work to do. I can't spend the, the, the entire day praying and fasting. I can't. What about the night's prayers? I have to sleep and wake up early for work. I didn't believe she keeps it low. It would have been a different thing altogether, but she's always on the high side. Okay, can you imagine someone praying for five to six, seven hours? Who does that? And my problem with you is that you keep comparing her to others. She is different. She's a prayer warrior, a prophetess. So I should die because I married a prophetess. No, Tom, did I commit any crime in marrying her? Well, if you think this is too much for you, I think you should go to the church marriage committee and just mm -hmm. complain to them what you're passing through. Maybe they can help you and handle the situation since you feel your mother can't even help you do anything. I cannot go there. In fact, I am not telling anyone before they will tag me an unbelieving husband. Because that's exactly what they're going to say. Please, enough of all these things. Let me just go up fresh enough so we can go out, have some drinks because I need to clear my head. It's all right. Uh, Just give me a few minutes. is a powerful woman. She the see, she the hear direct from God. She don't want anything to defile her body. She do the like do spiritual thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she know they like you kind of thing. Yeah. This guy is still in love with me. Well, I won't stop him from making his moves. This is an opportunity for me to get some good cash out of him. So I can get my own apartment as soon as possible. Wednesday night for meditation and every night in a speaking council. Cindy, I love you, okay? And I know you still love me because I can see it in your eyes. Auntie, after all I went through in your hands, you dumped me and got married in two months. Were you seeing her? No. We just met and it happened. <sighs> so... I wasn't good for marriage. Oh, sweetheart, please don't say that. You know I loved you. It's just that you paid no attention to my flaws. You were cheating with other girls. You were cheating. What did you expect me to do? I am sorry. Alright? I'm sorry about that. Baby. I'm a changed person now. Alright? Just give me the chance to make things right. Andy, you're a married man now. And you're still my one true love.
We should not be doing this. She's on camera. Hold on. Ha ha! I'm back. Baby, you're welcome. <laughs> How have you been? Welcome home. I'm fine. How's everything been? Everything's been good. Ooh. Ooh. All these worldly channels that you are watching. I covered the TV, you opened it back. Um, and you did not put any prayerful uh, channel. You're putting all these ones again. Um, baby, don't worry. Don't call me baby, don't call me baby. You cannot be calling an adult like me, baby. I'm a daughter of Zion, daughter of the most high. Okay, daughter of the most high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've missed you now. I missed you too. Because there was plenty of miracles there. You have not asked me how did the same one go? How did the program go? You have come with Kana, you are touching. It's, it's not good. By the time you do that now, then the Holy Spirit that entered my body will leave. Why? Because the Holy Spirit is a male figure. You are a man. A man cannot be the Holy Spirit. I, I, I understand all that. Hmm? But allow me to fill you up with my own. Hmm? Why are you doing this? What is it? Because you want to take the anointing that the Lord has given to me out of my body. Bro, the Lord did not tell me this. The Lord did not show me this about you. The Lord did not tell me this. You are too canal. You know what? I don't think I'm ready for this nonsense. I don't think I can put up with this attitude anymore. Bro, bro, bro. But the Lord did not tell me this. The Lord did not show me this! Bro! The Lord did not show me this! The Lord did not say that about you! The Lord did not say that you're supposed to be canal! Did the Lord say that? Bro! Bro! I was certain that you have missed my food, so I made your favorite. Yeah, the food really looks appetizing. It's not just appetizing. It's very, very tasty. Taste it. Okay. No, no, no. We've not prayed. Okay. No. So, pray. All right, close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Father, Lord, bless this food we're about to receive from your bounty through Christ our Lord. Amen. No, 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 no. <laughs> We've not prayed. That, that's why I always try to take the things of the Lord very seriously. Because now, what are you prayer for food now? <laughs> we did not pray well. But I just finished praying. No, 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 no. Let's pray. Let's pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bless and worship you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We give you all honor because there is none like you. Oh, be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. I want us to open our mouth now and begin to thank the Lord for the goodness of his words in our life, for providing us with life, providing us with food, oh, for his safety of our lives and of our families. I want us to open our mouth and pray. Dear Father, be thou exalted. We give you all praise. We give you all honor. We thank you, Lord, for what you've done in our life. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your peace in our name. We say, be thou exalted in Jesus' name. Uh, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let us also pray for long life and prosperity. Let us pray for God's hand of protection to dwell upon us in this household in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you adoration. We worship you, Lord. We thank you for all you have done. We say, be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. Be thou exalted. May your name be raised. I hope you have done all the earth in Jesus' name. Oh, we worship you. We need be far from the We say, be thou exalted. We honor you, Lord, with our good tidings. We honor you what we have and what we have to give. Oh, Father, you say, put open our mouth and praise your name. You open the stones to praise your name. Lord, 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 we call upon you. Lord, we call upon you in this household. In the name of Jesus Christ. In thanks, I give you all. Whoa. Mm -hmm. 
good. The Lord did not tell you this. The Lord did not show me this. Mom, this whole thing is really annoying. And I'm beginning to have it up to here. Mom, can you believe that? Ever since I got married to my wife, I don't know what the color of her panties looks like. Um, he told me that he did not know or he has never seen the color of my pants. Lord have mercy. And I called him. I tapped him. Bro, look at my pants. See the color. He refused to look at it. Show me pants. No, show me pants. Andy, what is really the problem? Mom, the problem is that my wife doesn't allow me to touch her. Bro. Bro, Andy. The Lord did not tell me this about you. The Lord did not show me this about you. Mommy, he used to touch me. Yeah. Who did? You see what I'm talking about? Why are you lying about this? Where did I touch you? When did I touch you? Is it when you're always on your spiritual journey? Was it spiritually that I touched you? Answer me! Mom, is there something I really want to ask you? Is it that you people don't teach all these girls their conjugal duties? Because this is something a 20-year-old on the street knows. Bro? Brandy, you defied our bed? What are you talking about? Where are you coming from? I stepped out. To commit adultery? I don't understand. What are you talking about? The Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not show me this. our bed come against every spirit of possession, every spirit of adultery, of fornication, perversion. I come against you, born by fire, born by fire, born by fire, born by fire. I guess you, I said born by fire, born by fire, in the name of Jesus. please. I am sanctifying and cleansing my marital home. Please stop this nonsense. What kind of joke is this? Bro, this is a clear sign that you are not a born again Christian. Because the work of the Spirit looks like foolishness unto men who do not know God. Unbelievers. The Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not show me this. Ah! 
Uh, my skin shock you, bro. <laughs> guy, your man is too early for all this. Why this? <laughs> you know, the truth is, I still have feelings for Cindy. Well, here is my over religious and spirit filled wife frustrating my sexual life. I mean, the soul situation is no longer funny for me. But you had an option of doing it her way. <laughs> yeah, even with the way things are, my brother. Even with that her way, you wouldn't bulge. Andy, I understand your frustration. Honestly, I do. But it's not a reason for you to commit adultery. See, I beg, don't do it again. <laughs> you see my hand, Abby? <laughs> well, ah. you know, last night actually took me back to those days. <laughs> the balance. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know something? I, I think I remember that. I remember how you swore, you swore to the heavens that this is going to be your last before you came up with this church girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, eh, it's not like I don't love her. Um, you know, when I met Dorcas, I thought I found everything I wanted in a woman. She's intelligent, smart, beautiful, and spirit-filled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for arguments. You are God all by yourself. This morning, and a particular Bible verse came, mm. kept creeping into my mind. It kept creeping into, creeping into my mind. Sorry. And it was in Romans. And the Lord said, Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? The Bible gave a response. Can somebody tell me that response? Oh, no. no. He said, God forbid. That lady that ministered today, she's so gifted. Yes, so that is how God has been using her ever since she was brought to this church. No, oh. yes. I never knew a woman could possess such spiritual prowess. Oh, so the Deborah you read about in the Bible, you think it's just fiction, Abby? <laughs> it's not like that. It's just that I've never witnessed something like that one on one. <laughs> You are here to see Sister Dokas in the Holy Spirit. Sister Dokas? Yes. Is that her name? Yes. Oh, I see. So, is she married? No. She's being careful of her choice of husband because of her spiritual life. Okay. Yes. That's not a bad one. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do about the the marriage classes. We're going to have to separate them from the brothers and the sisters. We we'll have to mix it up with fasting and prayers. I know the Lord will do it if we arrange ourselves and plan it. All right, I'll see you. Small vision that the Lord has right. told me will work. Work, work, work. The Lord will do it. Mm -hmm. Hello, sisters. Good afternoon. Hello, sisters. Um, sister, please, can I have a word with you? Oh, of course, sister. There's a sister. Okay, what about that? Mm -hmm. Um, my name is Andy. Good afternoon, bro. I actually enjoyed your preaching today. Oh, thank you. What part did you enjoy the most? I mean, every word of it, every word of it came with power. 
and I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Your face. Are you a member of our church? Yes, I was born and raised in this church, but I stopped coming when I moved out of my parents' house. Oh. My parents are Deacon and Deacon and Stupid Boy. Uh -uh. Your woman leader's son? Mm -hmm. Her last son. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Thank you very God bless much. You. God bless, God bless you. you too. God bless you. I have to hurry back inside. We have Prime Minister Chairs to handle with. All right, no problem. God bless you. And bless God you too, you. sister. I'll see you around. <laughs> so, you no know worries, mommy. We'll pray about it. The Lord will do it. Everything will fall into place at his own time. See, everything comes into place to those who love and fear God. That's right. That are called to his purpose. That will be well. Okay. Thank you, you very much. Thank you. You have a visitor. Yes. Huh? Sister Dockers. Go. We've okay. met him. That is good. Yes, I have. Met him. That's my last son. Ah. Andy. <laughs> yes. God bless you. You're God welcome. You. God bless you. You know, from that moment. Everything fell into place. We were so into each other and really wanted to get married. Hmm. Guy, leave that thing. Now chop, claim what you want to. But look at you now. Marriage has taken the whole part of you. Married man. <laughs> <laughs> I was never blind. I was really in love with her. And I still love her. It's just that this part of her, after the marriage, it's what I didn't see coming. How do you mean? Because you were blinded by love, but marriage has opened your eyes. <laughs> I was never blind. I knew what I was doing. I loved her like I still do. But just like I said, this part of her is what I didn't see coming. Well, if I would say my own, this is your cross find a way to carry it. But please, don't give yourself a hunchback. Because this is your idea of keeping Cindy as your side chick. <laughs> My no deal. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's the only way I can allow her be. You know, I just let her do her thing and I do my thing. <laughs> it's all right. Give you grandchildren? Mom, how can I give you grandchildren when she wouldn't even let me touch her? Mom, if you want grandchildren, mommy, then you have to ask him to live by the rules of the Lord. This worldly lifestyle you are bringing, I, Sister Dockers, I will not conform to it. Because I'm not of this world. I'm of the Holy Spirit. Which one is worldly lifestyle? Him. Instead of him. To use what God has given him for the purpose which is multiplication. He decides to cover it and use his tongue. Immediately I opened my leg. He put out his tongue. Ah. I ran away. He came to me and said, Don't use his tongue. His tongue. Can your tongue get somebody pregnant that you now open and then you bring out your tongue? So I refused. He wants to use his tongue. Andy, why are you using your tongue? Exactly. Where did you learn that from? His tongue. He brought that, the full tongue. Ah. And I, I said, no. Tongue. And then he went on to defile the bed. That's what he did. This is your son. He is not filled in the Holy Spirit. You are not filled in the Holy Spirit. The Lord did not show me that about you. The Lord did not tell me that about you. Ha! Ah. Andy, tongue, yes, his tongue, he brought it out in a flu glad, his tongue, he wanted to use his tongue instead of what God had given him. He told me, I asked him how, he said, his tongue. Don't 
Tokas. Yes. What is it? I'm seducing you so that you come and conjugate. See, you say, and the reason why I have not conjugated. So now, I don't want your mother to be angry. I'm not giving them grandchildren. So I'm trying to seduce you to come and conjugate. Don't worry, I am not interested. No, you must be interested. You have to be interested. Because I'm I just left my prayer time to come here and seduce you. Because you have been complaining that you cannot touch your wife. You don't know the color of your white pants. So this is me here now, seducing you. So you have to seize this moment and enjoy it. What's the conjugate? What's the point now? There's a point. Bring the point back. Come on, conjugate. Yes. Okay. Because I don't want to hear you say, Dorcas is the problem. Dorcas is why you cannot conjugate. So here I am now. If you don't do it, then the problem is on you. Okay. Even if I want to conjugate. Yes. I will start removing all these barricades on your body. Don't worry. The barricade is not the problem. I can take up the barricade by myself. Just come and conjugate this marriage. Even you said three months has passed and you have not conjugated this marriage. So come and conjugate it now. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Huh? Where do you think you're going? What's here? Focus, what is it now? We have to conjugate the marriage. Like, you do not have sense to go outside and go and meet any other strange woman. Okay, don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. No. It's time to conjugate the marriage. Let's do it here. No, we cannot do it here. I'm just trying to seduce you from here. We have to go back into the bedroom. Because in the bedroom there, that's the only place where we can desecrate. And the Holy Spirit will not be able to come into the bedroom again because of the kind of things that his eyes will see. But we must not desecrate the whole house. It will not be right. So, let's go and conjugate this marriage. Where are you going? We are going to the bed. Yes. Come and conjugate it. You must sleep with your wife. This is a proof that a man that will cheat on a woman will cheat, whether she's dressed well or whether she's naked. All of you are the same. So come and conjugate. This kind of woman I never see. Baby, you never see this one before. Or maybe. Not the first time where you meet her type. Ah, she go like pray before she conjugate to you. And she go like make you do I'm in the spirit, yo. Today not for night. What is this for? Bible. I need to have a Bible study. Let's go story the word. I am not in the mood for this. Please be in the mood. Put yourself back in the mood. It's very important that we study the word of God. I do not marry a non-believer. The Lord did not tell me that. Dorcas. Hmm? Do you know that the only thing you do in this house is stalk me with your spirituality and your Bible preaching? Now, look deep down inside yourself and know if you're treating me exactly the way this your Bible preaches. Yes, I am. I'm a virtuous wife. The Lord says I should fortify my home and spiritually build my home. That's what I am doing. Yeah. I see. What you need to do is to build yourself maritally first. Okay? Because if you're talking about being a virtuous woman, my dear, you are nowhere close to it. And that is the truth. Please, let us do Bible study and study the word because you are too worldly. The things of the world is entering your eyes and it's too bad. You're not spirit-filled at all. Yeah. You know, I've, I've already made up my mind about you. I've decided to allow you to do your thing. Just take your time, read your Bible and do as it pleases you. Because personally, I've decided to do my own. What you're going to do is the will of God in your life. You're going to study the word of God and draw closer to God. Do you really want to do this? Yes. Okay, no problems. Let's study the Bible. Huh. Don't worry, I'll, I'll lead into this Bible study. Okay. Okay. Open your Bible mm -hmm. to Ephesians chapter 5. That's what? Verse 21 to 23. 
efficiency. I don't understand. You don't know where efficiency is anymore. That's Is this not the Bible you read every day? Okay, go to the Bible content and find it. That's what? Chapter 5, verse 21 to 23. Read. Be subject to one another. Okay. Out of reference for Christ. Mm -hmm. Wives, mm -hmm. be subject to your husbands as to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. Doc has wait. Is this your own Bible you're reading on this particular one? Sit here now. Okay, fine. Let's read it together. 21. Wives, okay. be subject uh -huh. to your wives. Uh -huh. Be subject to your as to the Come, Lord. There's no way. There's no way in the Bible written like what is this? Wives. Pronounce this particular word. Wives. Mm -hmm. Be subject to your as the head. As your what? Subject to Wives, be subject, subject to, to your. God, respect to yourself now. Respect yourself and pronounce this very well. The Lord Wives. Tell me this about you. The Lord did not show me this. Do not respect yourself. I read this thing now. Wives, be subject, subject to, to your husband as to the Lord. Andy, why have you been avoiding me? I've not been avoiding you. <laughs> Do you derive joy in hurting me? Huh? Does that make you happy? Babe. I'm really sorry about that, okay? It wasn't intentional. You're a liar and a deceiver. That is what you are. You keep on deceiving me. Sweetheart, why are you calling me names? Isn't that what you are? Huh? What about the calls? The text messages? Did you reply any of them? Hmm? Did you? I'm sorry about that. I shouldn't have believed you. At all. I'm sorry. Okay. I love you. And I still do. Alright. I'm sorry about everything. Just give me the time to make it up to you, okay? Andy, you're lying to me again. How am I supposed to believe you now? Why should I lie to you? I missed you. Just give me the chance to make this whole thing right. All right? Is the size of your problem? Why are you so interested in carnal things, things of the flesh, wiggling in sin? And you call yourself a child of God? Dockers, what have I done this time? You don't know what you have done? You don't know what you have done? <laughs> no, I don't, and that's why I'm asking. So, after all the acrobatics you used me to do last night, you had the mind to go to another woman's vineyard? When the Lord is watching, don't you know that the wages of sin is dead? What are you talking about? I'm just coming back from work. In another woman's vineyard, you are rolling in sin, playing in sin. The Lord revealed it to me. The Lord showed me. When the Lord told me you are my will of God, the Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not tell me this. That a sinner and me a child of God, a woman after God's own heart, you are wiggling in sin. The Lord did not tell me that. Can I can I go inside now? Why? I cannot. I 
cannot take this anymore. Oh, I cannot. Please, my daughter, don't be tired. We'll keep praying for him. I believe he will change. Prayers are not for him. It's not. When will he change? When will he change? Don't be weary, my daughter. I will also talk to him. And I believe he will change. When? Please, my daughter. The Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not tell me this. It's okay, my daughter. The Lord did not tell me this. Let's believe God. Ah. All will be well. The okay. Lord did not show me this. It's okay, okay, my daughter. It's okay. It's okay. Um, baby. Just try and understand, okay? I can't come out this night. Alright? Okay. Once I drop this call, I'll send you the money. All right, good night, sir. Right. Mm-hmm. You daughter of Jezebel. Since you have refused to leave my husband alone, Sinti, Sinta, you do not know what you are playing with. The Holy Spirit will arrest you. You will see. Douglas, how did you know her name? Be playing. You don't know that my God is a consuming fire. You will see. Continue playing. Lucas, huh? why didn't you do it earlier and before I got dressed for work? You complain too much. You heard Papa Dubois' message. He said we should anoint our husbands against every single strange woman, every spirit of adultery. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay, just do it and get done with it already. Try to put righteousness in your body. That's one thing you lack. Can you start? Please be the holy blood of Jesus. Please be the people that come against the most strong spirit of adultery. tree. I remove it in Jesus' name. Lord, 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 I come out the blood of Jesus. Please be the people that say, out, 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 out. In the name of Jesus, I say, out. I say, out. Amen. I say, out. Okay, oh. I'm out already now. Jesus, Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, How am I supposed to go to work dripping of oil? You're not dripping of oil. It's not really here I touch with oil. There's no hair there to dry. Like, I don't like you complaining too much. Okay, can I go now? Yes. And even if you clean it, the efficacy of lawyer will see the day. Okay. Uh -huh. What is it now? Are you not done? The next day they're speaking in tongues. Lucas. Lucas. is the spiritual woman. Lucas. Prophet is the powerful woman. Lucas. She the see, she the hear the red from God. <laughs> yeah, this thing you're saying really amazed me a lot. How can you be telling me that you're sexed out when you said you guys meet on Rosta? You see that meeting? Yeah? It's always filled with war. How do you mean? Too much rules and regulations. Don't touch me here. Touch me there. Take it easy. No, you're becoming too rough on me. <laughs> Do you know that even when I try kissing her, he said, no, 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 you're trying to desecrate my mouth that I use in praying. I don't understand. How? Are you serious? Why did she get married then? Okay, ask me. Do I know? Bokai, I've told you this thing severally. You just try and involve in the spiritual exercise. And it's so that you can balance this whole thing. Guy, this complaint is getting too much. What I cannot do is to allow her frustrate me. I cannot. No, could you believe that the other night? My waist was on fire. Like I needed to explode into something. <laughs> but there was no way I could quench it when I have a woman at home. My waist was on fire. 
I was so frustrated. Do you know I went to bed with that frustration? Oh, sorry about that, man. Can imagine how you felt. Okay, now you're beginning to understand. <laughs> anyway, I don't blame me. Okay. When you go through what I'm going through now, you see these shots we are taking now? Yes. You finish everything. We'll take 20. <laughs> to spend time together today. I've been waiting. What took you so long? I almost changed my mind. Why? Andy, I am tired. I am tired of this thing. Can't you see it? Are you not tired? What exactly are you talking about? Andy, come on. You're a married man. You shouldn't be doing this. Wait. Are you saying this because of the threat from my wife? Andy, it's not about your wife's threat. It is not. You are a married man. You should focus on your wife and not me. I need to focus on my life. This is baby. not, this is not what, what I, it's not what I want for myself. Baby, listen, sweetheart. I love you and I know you love me too. All right, why don't we just forget about the distraction and <laughs> concentrate on ourselves? Andy, there is no distraction. You are a married man, you need to focus on your wife. You need to love your wife and not me, okay? This thing going on is wrong. It is totally wrong. We shouldn't be doing this. I don't even know why I fell for you again. Please, I'm going. It is over and this time around is forever. Focus on your marriage and not me. Please, just... Everybody's fine. <coughs> God be praised. God be praised. Amen. Amen. How how are you? And I'm okay. and hobby. Hobby. Your husband. Ah uh, ah. Uh, he went out. He's fine. Ah, okay. but his name is Andy Brandy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sister Dockers. Hobby is the new name for husband. Uh, yeah, but his name is Brandy. Bro? No, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yes. After. For the best unto the Lord. For the best to the Lord. Yes. <laughs> so, what's up? What's happening with the... Um, <clears throat> thing <clears throat> Nothing much, oh. Nothing much. Uh, I've submitted some applications. I'm waiting on any employment. The Lord will do it. The Lord will do it. No, He will. They that put their hope upon the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that abided forever and cannot be moved. He will do it. 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 It is well. It's good. It's good. They that put their hope upon the Lord shall be like Mount Zion that abided forever and cannot be moved. Oh, you are back. Welcome back. How are Welcome, sir. Sister Bilici. Sir, welcome back, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. I'll be inside. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What was that? Excuse me, you know somebody's here. Ah, uh, but what is wrong with that? It is not with it. Nobody is supposed to sit in like that. He's your husband. It's not right, it's not right. I. Sister, do don't be so archaic. Eh? You are a very young woman. I'm not archaic. That's not what the Bible tells me. 
The Bible says matters of a husband and a wife must be done in secret. Another eyes must not see it. I want to be here and listen. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. okay. The Lord did not say that. <clears throat> I've heard you. Thank you for your hospitality. I should be on my way now. Let me see you. Thank you for coming. The Lord will do it. Yeah. Please be well. Love to be well. Jesus' name. Sister Bilich. Sir. You're leaving? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Um, let me drop you off then because I have something to pick down the road. Easy way. Thank you for coming to drop out. Thank you very much. Sir. Let me see you off to the car. The right. <laughs> Lord will do it. Okay. God bless you. This kind of woman I never see. She be. Never hey, what's up with your mother? Before. This one, my ears have rested from your episodes of lamentation. <laughs> Brother, I've stopped complaining, man. I just decided to accept my faith the way it is. Uh, that reminds me, uh, what's this lady's name? Uh, Cindy. What's up with Cindy? Seems you guys are done. <laughs> Cindy ran away after Doc has threatened her. <laughs> she blocked me all the platforms and even as, I, as I'm talking to you now, even if I want to meet you, I can't. <laughs> now, uh, what is your mother, man? Eh? Her anointing is something else. <laughs> but what baffles me most was how she was able to know her name. Look at you, are talking about name. Hey, someone that sees your act in the spirit realm. All she needs to do is just to go and consult with God, just do one or two consultations with God, and the more than 100 names will just appear in her head. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's not funny, man, because how can I be living with a woman in the house and I'm scared of her, my own wife? Anyways, we'll be all right. Yeah, we all be all right. <laughs> all right, let's go have some fun, man. Thank you, Lord, for your word that has come to stay in our lives. We worship you, Lord, for your fruitfulness in our lives. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Stephen, as I was praying, the Holy Spirit was saying to me to ask you, why don't you just come and spend more time with me? The house is always boring because my husband is always at work. I've always been coming here and we spent a lot of time together. I mean that you should move in for a little while. Ah, hmm? Sister Adaka, so that when you resume work, I'll be the one that'll be born at me. You can still go with me to work. <laughs> I go with me to work. But, uh, Sister Adaka, won't your husband mind? No. He doesn't have any problem at all. Hey. Yeah. Ah, no, but still, you have to discuss with him so that you get back to okay. me. Okay. I will talk to my mother. No problem, no problem. How about your father's illness? I hope he's okay now. Because the Lord said that he will heal him from the stomach out. That's what the Lord said, that he will heal him. Amen. Sister Lucas, you know I like it where you're in the spirit because there's nothing that comes out from your mother that does not come to pass. The Lord will do it. The Lord is the one. I believe it. that he's already he's healed. healed. He's healed, he's healed, he's healed. Amen. He's healed. He's in Jesus' name. Says. He said he may cause him to move. He's Amen. Healed. He's healed. It is done. Not it, is it is done. It is done. The next day I'm speaking in tongues. Dorcas. Dorcas is the spiritual woman. Dorcas. Prophet Dorcas is the powerful woman. Dorcas. She the see, she the hear the red from God. She don't want anything to define her body. Dorcas. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm very fine, thank you. I'm fine. God is, God is good. Much. Hey! <laughs> thank you, thank you, my sister. How are you? I'm fine. What happened? You're not looking to. Oh, well, it's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. I'm on the mountain. That's why. Have you been on the mountain for this long? A couple of days now. I did not call me so that I would join you in the prayers. No, this one is a personal fast. After this fast, Immediately, I'll have another fast. You can join me in that one. Okay. Yes. There's food. Let me give you food. Let's go. Let me take you upstairs. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. Hi. God bless you. 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 God
Brandy. Oh. Welcome back. Bilichi. Sir. How are you? I'm fine. So how was work today? No, work went well. Okay. Um, where is my wife? Uh, she's um, upstairs praying, sir. Okay. All right, no problems. I'll be upstairs. Okay, sir. Why are you behaving like a child? What are you doing? You know, if you know the plans I have for you, you will scream in excitement. Sir, that sounds good, but this is not godly. Oh, please, leave God out of it. All right, this life is give and take. Scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. So how do I scratch your back? Be my woman. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Hey, you know what? Let me make you a proposal. If you cooperate with me, I promise you, I'm going to talk to my friend to give you a job in his firm. prayers on my prayer line. So I skip work today for prayers. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. I'm coming. Stability. There's a way that cement right on tomorrow. But at the end is destruction. Do not allow a piece of pie make you lose your salvation. Um, uh, yes, ma. Yes, ma. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brandy, welcome. Hello, darling. How are you doing? Where have you been? What sort of question is that? I saw you in a robe of death with a pig on your lap. You have gone back on that path again. Babe, you are fasting. I just didn't want to disturb you. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and lose his soul? Bro, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. The Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not show me this. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Oh, Father, I decree, I declare. I said, that spirit of fornication, spirit of adultery. I said, lose your hold, lose your hold, lose your hold. In the name of Jesus, Father, arrest, arrest, arrest. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak for this day. Oh, you say your word has come to say. Your word is here, and amen. Father, that would you make him change his mind? That would you make him repent? Father, let your rod come in, Lord. Let your rod come in, Lord. In the name of Jesus, oh, you say your word is like a body fire shot in that bones. I declare, I declare, let your word speak. Let your word speak. Spirit of adultery, I say out. I say out. I say out. I say out. In the name of Jesus, I come against you in Jesus' name. I speak for, I seek for your peace. I seek for your peace. Until you do that, would please the Lord. I seek for your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say repent. I say repent. I say repent. Lord, let your rod come in, Lord. Let your rod come in, Lord. That would you make him change. But I bring it forth. Lord, bring it forth. My daughter, what is the matter? I cannot do this anymore. Did Lord not tell me this? Your son wants to kill me, mom. Not a day passes without your son committing adultery. My Bible tells me, be not evenly yoked to the unclean spirit. I cannot be yoked with him. The Lord did not show me this. The ah. Lord did not tell me this. Ah uh ah. -uh. And here I am thinking that things are okay between you two. Things are not okay. Your son is an unbeliever. He is not spirit filled. And I'm going to have to report him to the church council. Ah, no. Please, please, my daughter. Don't go that far. That is like selling me out. Please, my daughter. Let's keep praying. Don't do it, please. I'm tired. I'm tired. What will people think when they know that my son is living such an immoral lifestyle? I cannot take this anymore. I cannot take this. My daughter, you can take it. Such things happen in marriages. And if women of faith, like us, don't take it, how will others be encouraged to? Please, my daughter, keep praying. The Lord did not show me this. Okay, don't worry. Lord Please, my daughter, sister, this. come with me. Come there. to your mother's house, like a child who was beaten by a wicked auntie. I'm glad you know you're wicked. Auntie, when you came in here last night, what did you tell me? Um, Mom, let me just use this opportunity and say this now. I am no longer interested in this marriage. What? I cannot be with a woman who threatens me. Threaten you? How? Bro? Mom, she prays bad prayers for me. How does Dockers pray bad prayers for you? Mom, she neglects me. And when I go out of my way to satisfy myself, she starts telling God to arrest me. Arrest me for what? What exactly did I do that God would have, should arrest me? Am I a thief? Hmm? And before you know what's happening, she has already started calling me names and all that. I am no longer interested. Let her take her firebrand prayer life elsewhere. I'm not interested anymore. Andy, my God will not allow you to disgrace me. Andy, you cannot disgrace me at all. I have said what I said. Please, I need to go and prepare for work. Bro. Andy. Bro, Andy. But the Lord did not say this. The Lord did not say this. Bro. Ah. Bro. Bro. You mean you left your home to go and live with your mom and she allowed you? <laughs> the truth is, living with her is not easy either. It's just that her own comes with insults 
and the same firebrand kind of prayers like my wife. If you ask me, you need to take it easy, you. Because may God no go to you strong, you know. The way you are going. <laughs> you see, this is the part I don't like. Everybody's pointing fingers at me. While nobody's telling her her own fault. Why? The problem with you, Andy, is that you don't want to face the truth. You have a bigger problem than she does. You need to calm down and take it step by step with her. Come on, it's not easy for crying out loud. She's a human. You can't just wake up from the blue and want her to become who she's not. Else you yourself, that is sitting down here, you won't be here today. How do you mean? Just calm down and stop forming all this street you're forming. You know I know the truth and you know the truth. You're a church boy. You are a brother from a very good Christian home where you carry Bible and go to church all the time. Now you're forming streets, forming Kalu Kalu B. Leave all these things, bro. Go back home, love your wife, show her affection. Pray with her, go to church, so that your parents will be proud of you. You're yeah, a good boy, and you know this. Preach on, pastor. <laughs> <laughs> but you tend to forget that it's he who wears the shoes knows where it pinches. No one keep on preaching. Well, you know I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> but that's by the way, Sha. Just be a good boy, you know? <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> Open the door, it's me. Andy. Yes, mom. What do you want? Mom, I just got back from work. From where and to where? I said I just got back from work. Andy, go home to your house. Mom, please, I don't have time for this. Just open the door. No. This is not your house. Go back to your wife. What's the meaning of this now? Open the door, please. Go home, Andy. Mom! Yeah, I'm heading to the hotel now. I'd like you to come over. No, no. It's late. What will I tell her? I don't understand. You're not looking at chat. Just tell her anything and leave the house. No. Come home. I don't want to raise any suspicion. All right, no problems. I'll do that because of you. When last did you play hide and seek? Seems you have something new for me. Come get it. All right, no problems. All right, I'll see you soon.
Dockers, your husband is on his way home right now. Make sure you do all I told you to do. Okay? I'm ready, mommy. I'm ready. I'm also wearing the sexy nightgown you say I should wear. All right, dear. Good night. Okay, okay. I'll do as you have said. Do you want to eat something? I should prepare water for you to take a bath first. Um, I think I need to take my bath first. Okay, okay. I'm not really hungry. Bro, Brandy, you should eat something. So let's go, let me prepare a bath for you to bath first, then you eat. Okay. That's a long chat. Oh, that was the agent in charge of the trip in Abuja, the one I told you about. Okay. I need to sleep now because I have to wake up very early tomorrow for work. Okay. And I might not be coming back tomorrow. Why? I need to clear my desk because of the travel. That's the MD's instruction. Very well then. Let's pray and sleep. Okay. In Jesus' name. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bless and worship your name. We give your praise, we give your honor. Because you're the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You have found your mega opinion and the end. The God who says yes and no man can say no. You know what? When I come back from
I did everything you told me to do. You said, bend down. I bent. You said, coin. I coin. You said, knee down. I knee down. You said, just open. I did. This your son is a very wicked person. He's not spirit filled at all. The most annoying part is that he left me like this for a very, very long time. A very, very long time. He's a very wicked person. Ah. Which one is all this now? Are you people fighting again? Because after everything you told me to do, he went after another woman the next minute. My own sister, under my own nose, under my own roof. The Lord did not tell me this about you. The Lord did not show me this about you. Even with her, with her presence in the house. So if she wasn't around, you would have done it in her matrimonial bed. That's the exact location where it would have happened. Yeah. Well, Mom, I can't be that callous. Shut up your mouth! Shameless thing! The Lord did not show me this. The Lord did not tell me this about you. Bro? Bro? You hear me? The Lord did not show me. The Lord did not tell me this about him. Baby. I'm not calling him baby. I'm not be calling him baby. I'm a full grown person. I've told you this thing before. We are not be calling the daughter of Zion baby. How do you think you're the spirit to feel? Okay. I'm sorry, darling. I've heard. Please forgive me. I'm not angry. I've forgiven you. I do have a choice. But you're still frowning. I am not frowning. I'm having my Bible study. Okay, you know what? Just pack your things. I mean, things that will serve you for three days. Let's go together. I'll have a room to myself. Then we can stay together. No. I have Bible studies. The Friday service, I'm the one that's leading the prayer. I don't have any reason to give my boss why I'm missing work. So I cannot go. Okay. I understand. Okay. Um, I have to take my leave now. All right? Just be careful. And live a good life as you are going. All right, no problems. Baby, won't you walk me downstairs? The Holy Spirit, I don't mean that. Don't call me baby. Okay, sweetheart. Can you walk me downstairs? I'm having my Bible study. I cannot leave the Holy Spirit and go down and come back. What if the Holy Spirit does not wait for me? No problems. I love you. I'm being clear. You just put this in. Yeah, the flight was delayed. No, I, <laughs> I was already airborne then. That was why I couldn't get me. All right, no problem. Don't worry. I'll call you once I fresh up. Remember to pray for me. <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. Ah, uh, guy. Oh. You've not gone to your room to fresh up. My brother, I've been on call with my wife. Okay. Well, don't worry, just give me a few minutes. I'll do that and tell you. All right, hurry up. You know, we need to catch some fun this night, guys. Yeah? <laughs> All right, I'll wait for you there. Hurry up, man. This night is going to be much, much fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, your boy's on the side, right? Okay. Yeah.
Yes, my room, my room, my room. Just, 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 go, 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 Sit down. Hey. Wow. I'm very serious. I'm telling you, let me see you. You even slow it down. This girl has sealed you. Damn. I can't really get this. We were sitting down just now, not quite long. I noticed both of you were looking at each other. You now told me what one is yourself. How come you ended up in your room? Why, why are you blaming me now? The deed has been done already. It's, 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 no, you should be problem that you should be careful. For crying out loud, why would I blame you? If this guy had killed you, what would I tell the company? What would I tell your parents? I've always told you, forget about women. Every time you are women, 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 just imagine what happened to you now. Go to the hospital. Can, can you reset to yourself? Go to the hospital. Okay, now, by the time we get to the hospital, what are you going to tell the doctor? Or what do you tell the doctor? That your penis is missing. Is he a magician that will bring another, manufacture another penis for you? What you should be saying on how you can call a man of God or Papa Lawa that can just come and consult one or two things and bring it back for you? God forbid. God forbid. I am a Christian. I cannot be seeing places like that. Oh, now you know you're a Christian. But when you're following all these ladies, I told you, desist from all these ladies. Eh? Find my, find, find, find guy. Look at you now, just imagine what you've cost to yourself. You still have like, three more days to spend in this hotel. What do I tell them? Listen, we have to call for an emergency. This is serious. Oh, this is very serious. Okay, what will happen is that? Wait, let me think, let me think. Okay, oh, see, I'll be the one to make this call. What will happen? I will call with him and tell them that you fell ill. So I have to put you on the next available flight back home. You understand? I will call her for you, please. You have to go look for solution to this. Please. I don't want to. I don't want to lose you. This is very important. She just to leave me. Don't talk about it. Excuse me. Wait, wait, wait. Come, come, let's go, let's go, let's go. You have to go now. Let me make the call, okay? Andy. What is the matter? Talk to me. Why are you crying? Mom. There is something I need to discuss with you. It's a, it's a matter of 
life, life or death. Life and death, Ke? What is the matter? Talk to your mother! What is it? I, I... Speak if I slap you! I have lost my manhood. You have lost what? I, I don't feel like a man anymore. What I, I am in trouble. I am in trouble. Then speak! What is by your tongue? Speak! Okay. Okay. I went to hang out with, with my friend. I saw I saw a girl there and I carried out my hotel room, but I, I did not sleep with her. I did not. All of a sudden. <laughs> She just vanished into thin air. Well, she disappeared with my money. Auntie, Auntie, you have done it. Auntie, Jesus, you have done it, Auntie. You have sold your destiny for a two minute pleasure. Oh, I'm offended. Jesus, come to my rescue. I want you. I want you. Oh, this is Thank you. How are you? Very fine. That's nice. All right, no problems. Let me take this upstairs and freshen up, okay? Okay. All right. This is so unlike this man. By now, he will have been all over me, hanging my legs here and there. something you are hiding and you have to tell me what it is. You are acting strange. From your changing to your bathing to your lying down to everything, it's different. But the Lord did not tell me that. The Lord did not show me that. <clears throat> Dorcas, mm -hmm. must everything be suspicious to you? Yes. Mm -hmm. Must you read meaning into everything? Yes. Because the Holy Spirit just told me that you are hiding something. I am not hiding anything from you. May I pick what the Holy Spirit tells me over what you tell me? So, what are you hiding? I am not hiding anything.
Andy. Bro. Focus. Who is Samantha? to ask you about Samantha. That there was an encounter and something who makes, something that makes one whole, like a man went missing. How long were you going to hide this? I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I wasn't sure about how you were going to react about it. I can't deal with this controversy in the midst of this whole thing. Something is missing. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just... I just don't want to lose you. All of a sudden, you don't want to lose me. I had earlier made up my mind to serve God with all my life. The Lord says there will be restoration. But you must prove that you are forsaken every single sin and is ready to cleave to God. He only gives restoration to the brokenhearted who are pure in spirit and ready to change. I've spoken with my pastors and my women leaders, and they have taught me that I can do better as a Christian wife. I can look better for my husband while still being a Christian and serving God while I await your revival, which the Lord has promised will come only if you are willing to forsake sin and cleave to him. I'm willing. Because I am willing. God says it's in your hand. Because even in Job, he has told the devil that even the devil should be afraid to touch that which belongs to a faithful wife. I am a faithful wife. The ball is in your court to forsake sin and cleave to God. which only you can do, Lord. <laughs> say that which only you can say. Who is he that will speak a word and to come to pass what the Lord God has not spoken? You whom the heaven is your palace and the earth is your footstool. Thank you, Mama. Character. And then you, you're following me to the bathroom with just one, your small G-string that you want to bath with me. Pick up, you have already walked out. Pick up. Action. Tomorrow na Bible study. Next tomorrow na meditation. The next day na speaking in tongues. Come, come, respect yourself. Respect yourself. I beg you, please. 
Big up, big character, thank you. Action! But not. <laughs> <laughs> so pick up, pick up, pick up. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry, pick up. Okay. Uh, Andy, come. I'm gonna help you out, dang. She know they like you, kind of things. Don't fit cheat, I got it, you tell them. Okay. Oh, look, it's a standby. No, standby. Let's go again. Nancy, I'm throwing One day in the high night Let's go. Tuesday in a Bible study. Wednesday in a meditation. And every night in a speaking in tongues. Oh, God. Prophet is the cast now. Holy, 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 holy. Oh, God. Anything she did do now. Spirit will go something. Oh, God. I see the itch, the prayer, she the sleep, she the prayer. Oh, God. Prophet is the cast. Oh, God.